the 101. Trick pizza dough recipe. Hey, my name is Pat Miller from the American Pizza Team, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make trick pizza dough. The ingredients you'll need for your trick pizza dough recipe include flour, a high gluten, salt, and ice cold water. Different tools you're going to need is plastic wrap digital scale, a knife to cut your dough with, a case to store your dough in, and a preferably large pizza dough mixer. It's important that the bowl is dry and does not have any oil or leftover dough from a previous batch in order to ensure the quality of your trick pizza dough. The ingredient we're going to add to our recipe is the salt. So whatever you're going to measure the salt on, make sure you tear the weight on your scale. For a 10 pound batch we use 6.4 ounces of salt. It's okay if there's a little more. The next ingredient we're going to add is the ice cold water. We want to tear the weight. Because my scale can only measure up to 5 pounds, I have to add the water 40 ounces at a time. If you notice, I keep the ice from going in there because it actually weighs different than water and will affect the dough. And the total weight for 10 pound batch should be 88 ounces of water. After we add all the water, we're going to stir the salt into the water. Help it mix in there. And if your hand isn't freezing, you did something wrong. The next step is to add 10 pounds of flour. Once again, for me, 40 ounces at a time. What kind of flour are you using, Pat? I'm using all trumps made by General Mills. Very high gluten, strong flour for trick pizza dough. Also makes for good eating. <laughs> Next step is to start the mixer. You notice time. It's going to take about 15 minutes for this to mix properly. We only do 10 pounds at a time because this dough is so strong that it could potentially hurt the mixer to mix uh, large amounts. I would never recommend doing more than 20 pounds ever in a 60 quart Hobart mixer. After the dough starts to come together, you can change the speed at number two, which helps mix it faster. You don't want to do that until after some of the water and flour mix together though, or you're going to shoot flour all over. At this point, we're going to go ahead and switch it to the speed number two. And let it continue to mix for about 15 minutes. So after about 12 minutes and the doughs come together pretty nicely, we're going to stop the mixer and feel to make sure the dough is really strong. It shouldn't feel like normal pizza dough. Go ahead and lower it and take it out of the bowl. 
put it on the table to cut and weigh. <laughs> and that's how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and zero out the scale again. We're going to weigh our dough out to eight ounces. which is the official trick dough weight for any competition. So after you cut and weigh your dough ball in the, your trick size, you're going to roll it. Now there's different ways to roll pizza dough. The way I uh, usually do it, I take and I form a flat surface by spreading the dough apart, and then I'll tuck the dough into the back of itself with both hands in a circular motion until you kind of have a half ball formed. The back will be very unformed. I'm going to pull all that together, making a triangle within my hand, and let the bottom part hang. And once I start to pull that together, and I can get it to a point where I can close it, I squeeze it with the thumb in between my thumb and my index finger, also in a circular motion, finishing off closing the bottom of the dough ball. Pinch it, put it down. After you're done rolling the dough balls, place them in a tray side by side. You don't have to worry about the dough growing at all because there's no yeast in trick pizza dough. If you place the dough inside of the case, it's best to spray it with water to prevent it from drying out. Some people like to rub the top with olive oil and then cover it with your plastic wrap. And you want to refrigerate it for about six to eight hours before you use it. I'm a quick couldn't stand working with it. That's Dough 101. <laughs>